Cinebags Striker. So let me show you this bag. Let's just slide right over here. It's awesome for video because you got to take a lot of video stuff along. I'm always taking stuff along and I'm always swapping things in and out. I cannot have just one bag. Because I have several cameras. Different cameras do different things and different travel arrangements dictate different types of bags. I like to have hard cases with foam in tour buses and on airplanes. When I go for three months at a time on tour, bag it's really awesome it holds a plethora of stuff for video shooting and video shooting is different than still camera shooting obviously although a lot of the stuff crosses over uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I take I know there's a lot of videographers and film people and still photographers that'll say no you got to do it there you got to do it that way this is how I do it if you don't like it Without further ado, this Cinebag Striker bag. This is what I've been using lately for my Panasonic GH5. If I open this guy up, what I have in here right now, I don't have the GH5 in here right now. Why? I'm vlogging on it. Sometimes I use my RED camera to vlog. A lot of people go, why a RED camera to vlog? Isn't that overkill? Yeah. These are the compartments that I use for my GH5. Stick it in here. I can do lenses in here. Other thing that I have in here, uh, extra monitor, extra lights, cube light. In here I have extra batteries. This closes, it zips, it's firm. It's not, you know, a floppy bag. In here, right now I have all my um, cards in here. I keep my cards in here, not necessarily my red mags because I have a different bag for my red camera. Could you put a red camera in here? Absolutely you could. Any modular camera, this excels at modular camera type setups. However, I can put my GH5 in here pretty much fully rigged with a microphone on it, no problem. Then you got these side packs. What I have in here are my chargers. I have a GH5 charger. I haven't used this yet. What I like about this is that it is soft padded side and when you're carrying the case like this and it's banging against you, you put this side so it bangs against you and it buffers it and you can put stuff in there. In this side I have my tools. I have a flashlight. Screwdriver, but this is a special screwdriver, it's extra wide, so I can use it for my quarter 20. The other thing is, uh, they say that you can put a laptop in here. This would be the spot that you would do it. It's pretty amazing. I think you can go up to 11, I think, 11. Right here. This is where you'd put your laptop. Totally padded here, totally padded here. So you can absolutely put your laptop in there. It's very, very cool. I'm gonna put all the specs below. <laughs> You'd think I was drunk. On this guy, I'm gonna put all the specs below the exact size. I gotta tell you, it is a killer, killer bag. I have had a Cinebag for close to 15 years. I contacted the company and I said, I need a new strap because I've had this for 15 years. And he said, it's time to upgrade. You gotta try the Striker. I see that you're a red guy. Haven't used it for the red yet. See earlier in the video. So I got a strap for it. I'm gonna show you that bag. 15 years I've had this bag. This is what I keep all pretty much like my grip type stuff, clamps. Uh, I have a ton of tools in here. This thing is like Johnny Cash. It's been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I use this to death. 15 years, still going strong. This bag is older than my son. But this is another review, and you know what? They've changed this, so we might have to do another review. So to sum it up, the Cinebag Striker, I love it. I think it's awesome. You can go to the Cinebag's website and pick this guy up. Tell him I sent you. That's my review for now. This is my discombobulated vlog for this week, but I did the best I could. Take care of each other and keep rock alive.